I'm sorry, I didn't tell you it's two minute deadline. Um, so, do you want to wrap up with one sentence? Well, I would just like to wrap up that we do believe this is part of the fabric and the texture of the New York City experience, and we think it will be sorted in this way. Thank you. Is the young lady testifying? Actually, I was just going to be here for questions, additional questions if you have them. Councilmember Capel? Just uh, since he was about to say it, I'd like to know how many people uh, take the carriage rides on your estimate. Is that the estimate you're going to give us? Uh, the estimate is approximately 550,000 to 700,000 people take the carriage every year. Every year, yes. Thank you. We've been joined by Councilmember Cuomo. Um, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Councilmember Elizabeth Crowley. <laughs> right, it's definitely not the right one. I'm sorry. Councilmember Bella, you had a question? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, is this for the New York City and Company? In your testimony, it says our early estimates project at least $1.5 to $2 million direct hit in tax revenue. How do you come up with that? For every uh, dollar of visitor expense, the city gets approximately 6.7 cents in sales tax, personal income tax, business taxes. And, and so that really is the basis of the... Estimate. But remember, we, they don't charge sales tax. For, for what? For the rides. <laughs> well, but no, but for the visitors that come to New York City... They oh, so they're the only people. coming to New York City for the carriage ride. No, that's not the only reason I think. But, but then, then your figure doesn't make any sense. Come on. I actually... Council member, it's it's uh, it's based on we understand that people don't come here. I'm sorry. You have to say your name and title. Oh, Kimberly um, Spell, senior vice president of public affairs for NYC Company. Um, the calculation comes as an economic impact number. So as you're well aware, tourism is one of the few industries right now that New York City is actually seeing some growth in, some stability, and we recognize that people don't come to New York City just to ride a carriage, but it is part of the fabric, it is part of the texture, and we think a better alternative uh, to allay the fears of uh, uh, you and, and other members of the, of the PETA uh, establishment would be to look at stronger regulation, perhaps, uh, more inspections, and I believe there's a piece of legislation that's going to talk about that, but I'm sorry, but an outright ban on the industry itself uh, I appreciate that. That's not my question. My question is, how did you come up with the $1.5 to $2 million? And I think he answered it. I thought you were going to do a further explanation of his answer. I, I, I know what your feeling is. I want a real answer as to how you came up with this figure. Because we've had this situation before. And I think, the, you know, the example is the waterfalls. You know, have the, I think the city estimated $60 million or something like that was generated. $55 million. $55 million. That's, a, that's absurd. You know, that was absurd. The media reported it as absurd. I'm saying your figure is just made up. Okay, well, Because I'm you don't, let me finish. Because they don't charge sales tax, and he even said it was an explanation sales tax. Well, that's not, they don't charge it. They're not supposed to be. They do it illegally, but we're not getting the money. So my question is, is this just some general number that you figured, oh, this makes sense, but you really don't know? Actually, no, we, we did do it. This is a very uh, conservative estimate today. Um, it's based on personal income tax, business tax, which the city does get a part of. So you're talking about an industry that employs 400 people. New Yorkers well, who pay, I'm sorry, okay. New Yorkers who pay taxes and the businesses that pay taxes. So, so you're that's, assuming that the work, so, that so you look, I'm sorry, so I'll just give you a more complete answer. If you estimate an annual 300,000 to 300,000 rides, which is a current conservative estimate that everyone's agreed upon, serving 750,000 passengers at a cost of $34 for 20 minutes, the average ride costs around $50 when you do the tips. So that totals $15 million spent on the rides. That money is going into the pockets of New Yorkers who, employ, who are employed you know, and who pay taxes. I, I am so glad you said that. Could you, have, could you get me what you just said in writing? Because I have every intention of asking the Internal Revenue Service to investigate every one of these tables because I'll bet good money that they didn't report what you just said. It's in the, it's in the written testimony that you have. 